My name is Jess and this is episode 6 of Knitting on Sweater Avenue. Uh, I am based in Melbourne, Australia um, and when I'm recording this, recording this, it's the 22nd of December but I think I'm going to post it on Boxing Day, so the 26th, uh, because I wanted to include a few of my gift knits which I'm obviously not going to be giving to people until Christmas. Um, so I thought I would record it now uh, because I'm going home to my parents' house for Christmas um, and then I'll post it when I'm there because uh, I'm not going to have a chance to record. So at least one of my gift knits is still in progress so we'll see how we go. But I've got I suppose one and a half finished objects, um, a couple of whips and a couple of a couple of, kind of a couple of new cast-ons although all of my gift knits will be new cast-ons compared to when they like compared to the last video. Um, and at least one of those is finished. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I am going to get started. So my first and only fully finished object is also, I suppose, a new cast on to me. Um, and it is an Oslo hat um, that I have knit for my dad for Christmas. So it's a gift knit. Um, this is using the Hedgehog Fibers um, Merino DK in the colour Matchstick. Um, and it's, I suppose it's kind of one of my acquisitions, although this is all the yarn I have left. Um, so that's how much I have left of the, I got, I got one ball um, and it, yeah, that's how much I have left and it's the Oslo hat. I made a few minor changes to the Oslo hat pattern. Um, I knit the brim, I think one centimeter less, and then I knit the actual hat, I think also one centimeter less because I got him to try, I have an Oslo hat, and I got him to try it on uh, surreptitiously earlier this year, and it just like, he just didn't need as much fabric on his head. Um, and the only other thing I did is, if you look at the like decreases at the top, which look very snazzy, um, I did two knit stitches in between um, the decreases, while the pattern only calls for one, which I think you can see if you look at pictures. Um, so yeah. I really like how that's going. Um, it was a pretty quick knit. Well, yeah, I kind of cast on and kind of and manically knitted for like, I reckon I did finish it in a week and it's got the like, I suppose the triple fronted brim because the, it's like you fold it, you knit it and fold it over and then keep knitting. So it's sort of, it takes, it's a fair bit, but I, um, I did a provisional cast on at the bottom uh, and then knit the double the length of the brim and then you fold it over and knit it together with the first round and I kind of like having the provisional cast on rather than having to pick up stitches I just like I just like doing that I kind of enjoy trying different things even though it's not what's called for um, and I made the I think I made the adult medium uh, which is the same size that I've made for myself um, and I'm not going to put it on because my hair uh, is washed and if I put it on it'll get all frizzy and I have a work Christmas party tonight, so or this afternoon, so yeah. So that is, I suppose, my one completed finished object. Uh, my other half completed finished object is, and I suppose I'll use this to come in to move into my whips, but it is a sock, and it's also a gift knit. So this is for my sister. Uh, I am knitting her. Well, I will be theoretically. I will be knitting her a pair of socks, and I'll show you how I'm going on the other one. But I merged together two patterns. So if you can see, it's got a little tree on it, which I think looks really cute. So I knit, I started with my normal vanilla sock, which is the Crazy Sock Lady on nine inch circulars, um, which I do a 64 stitch cast on and to use 2.25 millimeter needles. Um, and then I did a two by two ribbed cuff for 20 rows and then moved into uh, this cuff and I've got safety pins at the back so I can match the other side um, and so I did I think I did four rows and then the tree and then four rows as well before I started the slip stitch heel and sort of followed all of that stuff um, the tree is from the pattern the spruce socks pattern that I knit earlier this year um, or I finished earlier this year I think I was knitting those socks for like at least a year um, and I just took the pattern and worked out what one had to, like how it, because it has three trees on it and I just wanted one as like a little 
just like a little thing on the side. Um, and luckily she's exactly the same size as me, her feet. So I just knit it exactly the way I would do it. Um, so yeah, I finished it earlier this week and I immediately cast on the second one, but I've lost a bit of steam. <laughs> so I've only got this far, but I've got some time now before work and then I am flying home tonight. So I will knit it on the flight, hopefully. And then, and then she is going to be there. So I'm going to have to find time to like surreptitiously knit it because if she sees the yellow yarn, she will definitely know it's for her. Um, this yarn is, it's Paisley Knits. Um, it was an acquisition I got a few weeks ago, but I didn't want to post it in case she watched the video because she, as I said, she will definitely know if they did that the yellow yarn is for her. And I wind it up into two balls and then I keep them in here so that I can pull it smoothly and not have to deal with the ball going all funny. Um, this is from the Paisley Knits. Oh, it must be, it was their Heartstopper collection, which I was very excited about. Um, and it came with, it was a sock set and it came with a red yarn, but I don't remember. It might be the best gal pals sock set, um, but I will work out what color it was, even though I suppose it's a bit tricky to come to get now. Um, but yeah, I think it's, I'm really happy with it. I think it looks really cute. Um, and if I manage to finish the second one before Christmas, um, I will pop a picture up of both of the socks together um, because I think that's really cool. So it does mean I'm gonna have to take a sock block off with me back to Canberra, which is where my parents live. Um, but that's okay. It's a sacrifice I'm willing to make. <laughs> Although I do need to remember to pack it. So yeah, that's my like second, I suppose that's like my half finished object. Um, my last gift knit, well, kind of gift knit. Um, it's like a promise keeper. And it is a tiny little jumper. Uh, this is for one of my best friends. I've decided I'm going to knit her a jumper for Christmas, but I definitely did not have time once I decided I was gonna knit it. Um, so I made just like a mini version and I'm gonna put a little like mini coat hanger so she can hang it on her Christmas tree. Um, and the gist of it is it's it's got the same attributes as the jumper that I intend to knit her. So I am gonna knit her uh, basically a version of the jumper I knit earlier this year, the Elizabeth blouse. Yeah, I think I knit the Maud tee and I hacked it into what was essentially the Elizabeth blouse. And then I did buy the Elizabeth blouse pattern and I'm now knitting that. And I'm gonna knit her one of those. So it's got a collar, it's like a tiny little collar. It's not super clear. It's, it's a raglan and it's, the jumper is gonna be dark green with white stripes. So I've included that here. Um, yeah, I looked up, I just Googled different little like mini sweater patterns and found one that I liked, uh, but it's, you know, it was definitely a faff and it's <laughs> took me like four hours or something, but it's so cute. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am going to knit it in the drops cotton merino because I have some of the white left over. So I'm gonna use that as the white and then I will buy some dark green. Among other things, it's just a bit more affordable and I really like that jumper, just in general. And she has mentioned that she likes it too. So yeah, hopefully I will have given her this and said that I will knit you a jumper at some point <laughs> early next year. My goal, her birthday is in February, at the end of February. So my goal theoretically is to get it done by then and have it be like a joint Christmas birthday present. So yeah, that's my other, I suppose, kind of finished object slash gift knit slash progress keeper. And it's so fun. Um, so those are those, that's that. Now onto some other whips that you have seen. Um, I think the last time, so this is the one, one finished sock and we still only have one, fin well, I don't know if it was finished last time. I think I had to seam the toe or just do the decreases and seam the toe. So anyway, the toe is done. So one sock is fully done and the other one is actually relatively close, but it got completely, um, dropped. Oh, I'm halfway through a stitch. That's a weird time to stop. It got completely dropped because I started knitting on the but the Christmas socks for my sister. So I'm sort of halfway through the foot. So I am going to take this with me to Canberra and hopefully when I finish her sock I can move on to this as like a casual one. Um, but yeah, this is the Elizabeth and Oliver fibers. I think this is the color elderflower her, what did I just say? Olivia and Oliver fibers. I've got no idea what I just said. Um, and this is the elderflower colorway. 
and I think it's really nice. And I have, I do have quite a lot left over of the other one, so, and I'm not sure that I like the three by one rib, so I might knit another sock, which is just a plain vanilla sock, because I think I prefer the way that looks. But I need to, I'm still working out my ideal cuff length. I think this might be it, which is like 20 row, I mean like leg length, so like 20 row cuff, and then that must be like four stitches. So I'm just looking at my safety pins because I did like four rows before I started the tree section and then the tree section and then another four rows and then I did that. So it's like, it must be about 30, I think. Um, I could count them. But yeah, so I think that might be my ideal. I think these might be a little bit short, cause, but um, yeah, we'll see. So that, I've made some progress on that, but not a lot because as I said, it got pushed out of the way so I could finish my, um, well, so I could work on my sister socks. Another project that is nearly finished is my Leith cardigan. And it is, it is blocked, but I haven't finished the button band. But I've done, I don't know how much, I think maybe in the last video I had, I was like midway through the body. Okay, I've made a lot of progress. So I've got, the body is done and you do this like you sort of just like seam you like ki essentially kitchen a stitch the top together and so my top stripe here is a bit small but that was so that i didn't think you'd be able to tell and i wanted this side to match so i like had to do a bit of sneaky maths um and then i've got this sleeve it has stripes of width two and this sleeve has stripes of width eight so then we've got four and sixteen um and I was trying, so I did the bigger stripe sleeve first and I was trying to work out how to have like jogless stripes. Um, and I did, so what I did was I slipped the first stitch of the set, the first stitch of the second round of the new color. I hope that makes sense. Um, to try and make them kind of jogless. I think they look pretty good. And I did carry the yarn through, but I did a much nicer job of carrying the yarn on the, smaller stripes and I in this one I just slipped the first stitch of all the white rounds I didn't slip the brown ones because otherwise you would just have like one it would be one stitch down that center thing because it's changing every second row but I did the I'm gonna show you how I carried them because they look so nice because you were just like changing all the time oh I need to oh no I've leaved those ends in it just like comes down the center I thought, I thought it looked nice um, so I've weaved, I'd weaved in my, all of my ends, although I did find like two that I need to weave in. And then I just do a little knot at the end so that I know it's weaved in. I don't know if you can see that, it's got a knot in it. Um, and then I blocked it and so now I can cut the ends. But I just like to have them weaved but not cut before I block. Um, I think because I just like, I read it somewhere that that was a good thing to do. Anyway, so that's how that's going. And I have cast on my button band which you knit completely separately and this is oh this has got a few kind of acquisitions because we had a work Kris Kringle where you like or Secret Santa I suppose um I don't know what the difference is anyway where you buy something for someone else at work um and we had like wish lists because a we're co-workers and b we are living like I'm in the Melbourne office but there are people in the Sydney office um and I said that I wanted some like stitch markers and needle stoppers and they got me these so there's the needle stoppers um and then there's one of the stitch markers i honestly just put it in for yolo i don't need that one i just wanted to see how it worked and this is the progress of my button band it's not gotten that far and i made did i make yeah i made one change so i've guaranteed which side is the right side and that's partly because i did the buttonhole in a certain way so the buttonhole is there if you see it, see it, it's like there. Um, but I need to do, I think I measured, I needed to do, for my, for the one I knit, I need 10 centimeters between my buttonholes. Um, but I did a buttonhole, which I copied from the Maud T, um, which meant that I didn't have to break any yarn, which is good because I am a bit lazy. Anyway, this is partly what I, that, so that's one of my kind of acquisitions, but they're just so cute. Um, so yeah, this is the progress I've made so far. So I've got a long way to go, but as per you will see, this also got shafted. So 
a couple of, well, almost all my projects got shafted. <laughs> uh, and partly for Christmas knits and then partly for another new cast on that I will show you. Um, but I'm hoping that I can like cool my jets on casting on new things and finish up my Christmas knits and then just like finish off some of my whips because otherwise I'm gonna go mental. Um, okay, so we've talked about that. So my last whip that you've seen, um, which has made, I've made, I think I've made a bit of progress on, but not a lot, is the Moby sweater for my partner. Um, we're getting there, it just takes time. Um, and that's, I've got some more, there's another one they got me. And they're really cute. Um, they are from, what's it called? Uh, Handmade by Catkin, which is an Instagram, oh, well, they have an Instagram and an Etsy shop. So I think because I am in Melbourne and the person was in Sydney, they like ordered it from Etsy and got it sent to me, which I thought was nice. Anyway, this is the Moby sweater um, and I am knitting it in uh, San Isgarn Pia Gint in this nice like denim blue um, and I'm knitting the size small and it's going well um, but I, I need to finish the body. I feel like I always feel like I've made a lot of progress and then I get him to try it on and it still looks like a crop top so we're getting there but slowly. So anyway that's another project I will be taking with me to Canberra. Um, is that all I've mentioned? Yeah I think that's all the relevant stuff. Didn't make a lot of progress on that. Shout out to the Christmas cast on. Um, oh, I meant to say the Leith cardigan is knit in uh, almond and croissant. The, the colorway names are from Double Sunday. Um, I'm a big fan. Uh, and then last but not least, I think that's last. Yep. Uh, my newest cast on, which I think I mentioned last time, is the Leon sweater by Petite Knit. And I have joined in, I've joined the yoke into one piece, but I haven't joined in the round yet. Um, and I am knitting a size small. I am knitting it in one strand of Sunday in the color, I want to say whipped cream, maybe. Or m not marshmallow, I don't know, maybe marzipan? Mm, I think it's whipped cream. And one strand of Surrey Silk Alpaca by, um, what is it? This is the, hold, I will get one. Okay, this is the Zakami Yarns uh, Surrey Silk. So it's 75% baby Surrey alpaca, 25% silk, and this is the color Exordium. Um, and this one looks much more colorful than the one that I've currently, well, now that it's wound up, it doesn't look very colorful. But the, fabric it gives you is very extremely white um, so I think it's gonna be a very white sweater but I think like it you can kind of see a bit of color um, and I do like it um, but yeah so I'm doing that um, but I cast that on so it seems like a rogue thing to cast on a new project but I'm knitting it alongside my grandmother who is actually a long way ahead of me she's already joined in the round I think <laughs> um, but just so that we can knit it together and then if any of the instructions are kind of confusing we can compare and contrast because uh, she has not knit a petite knit pattern before uh, whereas I have um, and I've knit a lot of jumpers anyway so I thought I'd cast it on alongside her uh, so that we can sort of work on it together see how we go so yeah that's where I'm up on at that's where I'm at on that one so those are all of my, I suppose, those are all of my whips and cast-ons that I've cut progress on. Um, the other projects that I haven't done anything on, and it's sort of, these are like my top priorities. I need to sort some of these out so then I can move on to finishing all my random whips because a lot of them are languishing and I don't want them to, but I just like, I only have so much time and sometimes I'll just like cast on for, not like no apparent reason, but the Leith cardigan was certainly a rogue choice. <laughs> and I'm sure I could have made lots of progress on a few other things as well. But anyway, so 
some honorable mentions of projects that have had no progress on them since the last video are my Elizabeth blouse, I've done nothing on that, and my twist loops, twist loop top um, by other loops. Also had no progress, but I'm taking my twist loop top with me to camera alongside a lot of other projects, but I'll have a lot of downtime. So I'm hoping to make a bit of progress on that. Like I hopefully join it in the round. So we'll see how we go on that. Anyway, those are all of my whips. So new acquisitions. I have kind of some yarn and then I have the stuff that I got from my coworker. So the yarn, I think I already mentioned, I bought the um, Hedgehog Fibers DK in Matchstick and I knit it into a beanie for my dad. At the same time, I also bought the same yarn in cereal and I've wound it up into a cake because I'm taking it with me and it's going to become a beanie for my sister, but I am not knitting it, theoretically. I wound it up for my mum to knit it for my sister because I have a ball winder and I just love using it. <laughs> um, and but then possibly my sister, who up until now has not wanted to try knitting. Um, but she said that she's maybe interested in trying, she knows how to knit, um, but she said she's maybe interested in trying to knit her beanie. So I have that all ready for her so that she can cast it on. Um, or so, so that someone can cast it on and she can knit it or not, or mum can knit it because my mum definitely has been smashing through her knits one at a time, like a sensible person. <laughs> Can't relate. Um, I also, I feel silly because I've already wrapped it. Um, but I have, I have pranked both my mum and one of my uncles. Um, I have put, I've wound up a cake of yarn and I've put it in a box. Um, an, a, a candle box. I'm pretending I'm giving them a candle. Um, and so for mum, I got another hedgehog fibers um another hedgehog fibers dk i got her uh it's a good question what did i get her it had a name that i didn't really recognize anyway i will take a picture of it and i'll pop it here and i will i think it's liebling that's a weird name but i think it is liebling um so that's why i got her and it's for her to knit herself a beanie um, so yes, I am just providing my mum with more and more projects. <laughs> um, but if I can smash out a beanie in a week, then I reckon she can too. And then for my uncle, it is a, I think it's black waddle fibers, which is like an Australia, uh, uh, an Australian slash, um, like near Canberra, uh, hand dyer. Um, and it's like a nice foresty green. And I will also hopefully pop a picture up here of what that one looks like. Um, and I am... For his present, I'm offering to knit him a beanie, but I just, A, didn't have time, and B, wasn't super sure what he might be interested in. Um, so I thought that I would, um, yeah, I wasn't super sure what he'd be interested in. So I thought I would just sort of leave it um, and give him the yarn and offer him a few different patterns. Um, so I thought I'd offer him the Oslo hat, so like a stockinette hat, a ribbed hat, and a cabled hat. I thought I'd like give him the three patterns and be like, which would you like? Cause he's going on a hike some point next year and i thought a nice like foresty green beanie would be really nice anyway yeah sorry i don't i'm just showing you a wrapping i was really proud of my wrapping i did hospital corners kind of accidentally irrelevant but anyway um okay that took a really long time to put away um and then whoop, a kind of acquisition i got I think two balls of this double Sunday from my mum because she finished, she was knitting a stripy Leon sweater. Oh yeah, my Leon sweater will not be stripy. Um, and she was using double Sunday and she finished the sweater and didn't need two whole balls. And I think this is cardamom. Um, and so I think that I want to cast on, not for a while, the sweet shop blanket. Um, and I am happy for it to have a lot of triangles that are the same like I'm, I think sort of I just want to use what I have and I think that it could be cute to have lots of triangles that are the same um so I said that I would take it off her hands I know <laughs> what a 
yeah, I'm doing God's work. <laughs> um, but I thought I would take it off her hands and um, add that into my blanket when I cast it on. So that's a kind of acquisition. Um, and then, yeah, so and then from my coworker, I got the uh, needle stoppers. I got whoops, this stitch marker, which is like kind of hard to see, but it's a cat. Um, and I got some like colorful, whoops, like colorful, I think some people call them light bulb stitch markers and some people call them gourd stitch markers, which I kind of love. And then some spiral ones. Um, so that's from, um, yeah, that's all from Handmade by Catkin. So that's pretty cute. Um, so yeah, oh, I'm gonna stop jangling. So those are all of my finished objects, my whips and my new cast-ons. So hopefully uh, I, hopefully I can maybe not finish a lot of them, but like make progress on them, finish some, not cast on anymore uh, to try and reduce the number of whips I have. Because although I do really like knitting, I feel like I, it would be better if I did fewer things at a time. I think I would feel more accomplished when I finished things like I could just like like my mum for example casts on a sweater casts casts on a sweater knits the sweater casts off the sweater casts on something new like one at a time whereas I am definitely prone I like having like two or three I think at the same time ideally like a stockinette project a more complicated project and like a small project is what I kind of like and this more project is maybe my socks that I tend to take to work. But this is a lot. <laughs> so yeah, so that's going good. Um, yeah, so I suppose my plans for the next uh, few months, or I guess the next month, hopefully I'll film another one in about a month, um, is finish up my, well yeah, ideally smash out this sock. Um, I would love to get the Moby sweater. So we're going on a trip my family and I, including my boyfriend, um, we're going on a trip to go skiing in January. And I would love to have my boyfriend's jumper finished for that. So that's the end of January. So I think that's my like next sort of deadline after Christmas. Um, oh, sorry, that was my joints. Um, and so yeah, I would love to have that finished. And then the rest of them, I think it would be good to just sort of slowly tick them off um, and smash that out. So yeah, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you had a lovely Christmas, if Christmas is your thing. Um, we have a relatively big Christmas, but it's not very religious. We just sort of hang out and eat food and do presents with the extended family, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, that's all from me. I hope you're having a good week. Um, and if you need one, hope you have a nice cup of tea. <laughs> I'm gonna go make myself a cup of tea. Anyway, have a good one. Bye-bye.